Um, uh, who are you? Can't you tell? Actually, no, I can't. Where's Miss Hamblin? Get out of our classroom. What do you mean, get out? I'm your supply teacher. Did you hear that? And um, what was I meant to hear? It's Miss Hamblin. Miss Hamblin is an N. I bet she quit her job after what we did to her yesterday. Oh no. We got to tell the others. We Miss, when is Miss Hamblin coming back? Listen, kids, I don't know when your teachers come back, but let's just hope she'll be okay. You know, I am getting sick. It's sort of like some teacher phobia without Miss Hamblin. I'm hopeless. We all are. Fabian, we're not going to stop the search just yet. Mum knows where Miss Hamblin lives. We'll just go tell her and then we'll go to her house. Adam, are you crazy? We can't just break into Miss Hamblin's house. Uh, Cody, we kinda have to. We need to know why she didn't come to school today. Yeah, I guess. After all, she is our teacher and we need to care for her. Yeah, I guess you're right, Jamie. Guys, I've got big news. What is it? Well, it's actually more like a plan, not big news. Any plan is good news. What is it? Well, we don't, we don't have Miss Hamblin, but all we need to do is get rid of the supply teacher. Because if we get rid of the supply teacher, there's no supply teacher to come up with us. That is a good idea, Spencer. <laughs> the school bell's gone. I have to go to class now. Of class? So, today we're going to get started with lessons. <laughs> you suck. I don't even know why you're at the school. Everyone, boo her! Boo! Miss, is everything alright? <laughs> Miss Hornsey, what are you doing here? Well, I had booing all the way from my office. I hope you're not doing that. <coughs> no, Miss Hornsey, we weren't booing. Uh, we were just booing because we were reading a book. Well, good. Remember, you better not be booing a teacher. You'd never do it to your original teacher. Treat people the way you want to be treated, everyone. Bye, everyone. Okay, everyone, we're going to go home. Um, Fabian or me will text the group chat when we get Miss Hamblin's address and we'll sneak off our houses and break into her house. Okay. Adam, how are we going to tell Mum we want to break into Miss Hamblin's house without telling her? We don't. Well, we want her to say it, but we'll just keep bringing up mishandling, mishandling, mishandling conversations and then she's gonna tell, surely going to tell us. Good idea. We're here. Remember the plan. You should be the one remembering the plan. I got it all in my head. Hi Adam and Fabian. Just to let you know, I'm going to Miss Hamblin's house. You are? Can we come? Uh, of course not. Okay, why did you ask? <coughs> um, he was meant to say, why don't um, we go and you relax? Still, um, why would you go when it's a school day? Plus, I just bought the cutest dress at the fashion store, so why would I just waste it not coming? Well, the reason why I'm asking is because, um, uh, Miss Hornsey wants to speak to you. Okay, you must go then. Here's the address. See you later. Great, now we ain't got to go to corner clothes. Text the group. So she lives on top of the calf. It looks like it. Let's go in. Hello, does Miss Hamblin live here? Mrs. Hamblin. Yeah, she does. Top floor number 26. Which room? Which room? I told Spencer to leave a note on the floor. Someone must have stolen it. Let me go downstairs and ask the guy. Back so soon. What do you want? Uh, where does Miss Hamden live? 
Mrs. Maggie Hamblin lives in number 26. Top floor. Dare ask me and you're kicked out. So don't forget. Number 26. Let's go. Uh, what's taking them so long? I'm not sure, and why are we here? She's not even in the house. Guys, she's coming, I feel it. You guys are finally here. Sorry guys, but she isn't even here, let's just get out. No, we're not gonna leave until we find out her. Adam, what did you press? Ah! Where are we? Uh, this is this Hamden's secret base. 